So without further ado, a man who needs no introduction, a star of the silver screen, Broadway, and the beloved host of one of America's favorite TV shows, You Bet Your Life. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm, downy welcome, if you would, to Groucho Marx. <laughs> Is that your boyfriend? Stand up for a second. Okay, all right, sorry. It's okay. Well, how are you there, Mort? You look Groucho, good. Groucho, how are you? Say the magic word and the duck comes down. Sit down. Boy, Morton, you got handsome. The great one. Oh, W.C. Fields was a great guy. He, you know, he used to have a lot of liquor in his cellar. No. Oh, he had tons of unopened cases of booze in his cellar. And I said to him one day, I says, Bill, what are you doing with all that uh, booze in your cellar? Prohibition's been dead 40 years. He said it might come back. <laughs> Let me ask you this. I don't what's care what you What's your me. reaction? <laughs> you can ask me anything you I'll want. I'll bet you don't. What's your reaction to comedy today? Too dirty? Well, I don't know. I think comedy is always funny if it's uh, clean or dirty, providing that it's done in a nice way, you know? Like, for instance, that girl in the first row. She's been done in a very nice way. Yes, she has. <laughs> George Fenneman. George Fenneman. I like George Fenneman. I think, I think it's and time. And George Fenneman likes me. It's time to explain. And he likes you, too. To, to you. <laughs> 